I don't know the way of prioritizing, but... Uh, I, I don't know this system well enough, but you can press keys to... Uh, and which one was it? Uh, that one? Yeah, that one. So, you can switch to this view where you can see the item that's the container and then everything that's in that container instead of the standard view, which is this one. So it shows how many items, but it doesn't list what specific items, and not that one, but it doesn't list what specific items are in there. So I forget what this one's called. but um, So this way you can see exactly what is in what. The list gets pretty long, of course, depending on how many items and how many containers you've got. And then also, if you go... There's an insert menu, pocket auto pickup settings. Maybe that's also what it is right there. Ah, priority item category, whitelist, blacklist. So yeah, apparently there are ways to do it. I don't tend to do it because it's a new system and I've got thousands of hours of doing it the old way. So my brain and my muscle memory just, I, <laughs> maybe eventually I'll be able to force myself to take advantage of or to use it in some way. So. But apparently we have a priority system and a category system and a whitelist system for the various containers. And uh, I know you can insert items into specific containers instead of just letting it randomly go where you want. So I think if I wanted like the hal or the cash card here, I could... Is it insert from here? I don't know where it's at. I don't know how it works, but there are ways of doing things. So. I thought it was pick the item first and then tell it where to go, but uh, so if I go to the, uh, the hiking backpack and then go insert, I can then go pick what I want specifically to go into the hiking backpack. So you can specifically put things in various things, and I guess with the priority system you can set that up as well. All I really usually care about is whether or not my certain body parts are being encumbered in an extra way because of me putting stuff in them. Like, are the western boots with 33 items actually slowing me down because of the foot encumbrance? So, we're at uh, 7 foot encumbrance, which is the max for the boots, which is the default, I believe. So, I'm, I'm fine with that. But occasionally, if it starts stuffing your torso armor with gear, that'll actually slow you down. It's just odd sometimes, because when I remove the items from the survivor suit, like right now, it's got 11 items in it, and I put them all in the backpack, then I end up with a worse dodge than when I had them in my survivor suit. So, it's weird sometimes on where the items are being carried and their effect on what I care about, which is my dodge rating or my my encumbrance on my torso. Because both the hiking backpack and the survivor suit are both affecting my torso. And just moving the items from one to the other seems to affect the numbers somehow, which it doesn't seem like it would since they're all in the same basic location. So it gets a little weird that way. But you can use the unload command and then go specifically say, I want everything out of my boots. And then when you go back and look, your boots no longer have any items. And it shuffled them into the other locations. Where the hell did they go? Oh, my survivor suit now has them all. <laughs> the problem then is if I try to unload my survivor suit, a lot of them are going to go back into the boots. Without, I guess the priority system would probably take care of that. But I don't know a quick way to move items around. Yeah, 12 items went back into the boots. The hiking backpack now has the 30. And I'm at 41 plus 8, so it, it gets weird. I don't really like to pay attention to it and micromanage to that level anymore. I, I just know the game too well, and it's not really necessary for, for my level of play.
Yeah, the hiking backpack has a higher max encumbrance when it gets full, but most of the items that it's getting shuffled into it are really, really tiny. All right, uh, what was I going to do? We're in a clear area. Um, we're going to wait till night. We're, we can either go visit the lab or we can go up to that sporting goods store, but either way, I'm going to wait till nightfall. It's only 7 a.m., so we got some time to kill. Do I still have a brazier? Hey, I have a brazier. Look at that. Let's uh, let's set up the brazier. Uh, I don't remember if I have any wood. Planks. Hey, look at that. Even got some planks. Glorious fire. Can I actually cook? <laughs> Creep, fresh hot, yum yum. Four hundred yummy calories. You indulge your shameful hunger. <laughs> do I actually get a bonus from that? Yes, we do. Cannibalism at its finest. All right, so we got all of our our needs taken care of. I guess we'll we'll read our our favorite book while we digest our our long pig, our long pork. Running to one forty four. Anything else I need to do? We're no we're not near water, so I can't cook up another batch of water. Oh, we still got forty nine, so we're okay there. Just technically, I could make that. I could eat it. Sure. Only one? Make six portions? Ah, use. Yeah, okay. Sure. I can do that. And we'll do some beef. As long as this lasts. <laughs> Calories, 468 to 1027. Two weeks. I'm okay with that. Predator coming for me? Love it. Out in the middle of a field, middle of nowhere. Here comes Mr. Predator. He's just hanging out there. As soon as I try to finish his recipe and I say, ignore the prompt, he'll be in my face. Ah, <laughs> dangerously close. Stop crafting. Yes. Hey, he's right next to me and I don't have my, my staff open. Or my staff in my hands. Yeah, this is going to suck a little. Yep, there's the pain. So, here's what happens when a predator gets in your face. So, bites your leg, you're bleeding. Your hiking backpack is sliced. Your tool belt is sliced. You're bleeding. Bandages on your torso were destroyed. You're impaled. You're knocked to the floor. <laughs> Welcome to a predator fight. So this is going to suck more than a little bit. Now we're on the ground. We have to stand up. Heavy bleeding or light bleeding? Minor bleeding and bleeding. All right. So not good. Let's uh, back off one. Force him to move towards me. Take the hit. Not 
knock me down again. Goodbye, Predator. Yeah, that hurt a bit. It didn't put as much pain on me as I was expecting. But the fight went about the way I thought it would. Might have been better to stand and just take the hits and try to blast him down. I had the full stamina and I knew he'd go down before I ran out, so I was trying to run and swing, run and swing. But he got that second move and hit me thing in that knocked me down again. That's where the main pain came in, most of the damage. Okay. Up. Stamina back. Get my beans going again. It's a high price to pay for some beans and rice. Can you make candles? I don't know. I'm not sure I can make candles to begin with. Um, yes, you can. I'd need more, but you can make candles out of them. I wonder if a freshly made candle is going to have charges, or is it going to be broke? Is it only ones existing in the world that are currently broken? Let's find out. Curious minds want to know. That one. Nope, still broke. <laughs> yeah, still no charges. Well, we got some food. Um, yeesh, eating a lot of it. 1,600 calories of creep. And I'm still going. 1,800 calories, almost 19. Lux beans and rice are 630, huh? Well, that'll hold me for a while. Yeah, all the candles are broke. I saw that in a note somewhere. I don't remember if it was one of the forum posts or Reddit or somewhere. But I expected the candles to be wonky or broken. 11 a.m. Uh, yeah, 11 a.m., huh? All right, let's go back to crouch mode and do some more reading. Do one of that. And then back to compute. But I notice I've damaged my quarter staff as well. Hopefully I can actually fix that one. Quarter staff is subbing in for my hockey stick is the closest equivalent. Tired, huh? Let's go ahead and sleep now. We'll sleep till midnight or so, and then we'll make the run. Let's go 
almost 1500, so eh, eight hours will be fine. Wake up feeling refreshed. Are good. I should have thrown bandage on my torch, so I forgot about that. My bad. Hmm. One last attempt at the uh, sporting goods. are going to make a ton of noise when I pop them. And the shocker brood's still hanging out there. <laughs> to get unhappy again. My night vision goggles seem to be missing. Uh, light amp goggles. That's what I'm... Do. Never mind. <laughs> Just calling them the wrong thing.
Almost all close. I did remember the fitting rooms, right? Nothing there. Okay, well, good to know. Poor kitty cat. Whoops. Yeah, light amp's good. I like them both uh, for different reasons. You got both, it's fun to do. Wear them both and have them both active. But um, don't discount the, uh, the IR in favor of the light amp. The IR is pretty powerful all by itself because of the range it gives. It works out to like 60 range. So you can do a lot of good maneuvering around in the dark with just the IR goggles. Do I place any items on prior to any advance view? I don't. I don't prioritize anything. I do very little inventory fiddling. I've just got too many hours in the game. When you've got 3,000 hours played before that system was even introduced, you just... <laughs> I, I can move through the menus and I can, I can move things around so easily anyway. I just don't really feel the need. Oops. There's a number of the newer systems I just don't bother with just because I'm happy they're in game and that people find them helpful but I've just got too many hours doing it the old way to uh, try to train my brain and my fingers to just not do it okay I don't see anything else I can really do up there right now I'm really amazed I'm still not <laughs> not possessing a hacksaw I think the lab is going to be my best bet for the hacksaw Usually you can find them on the shelves in the lab, pretty commonly. Hop, bunny, hop. Uh, back over to the Z-level nightmare. We're fooded and watered. Gotta find out if I can fix this quarter staff. What fixes these things? Uh, repair kit. Miscellaneous repair kit. I don't have one of those. I can make one, apparently. Wood saw I picked up. The X-Acto knife. Alright, sure. Make one of those. Reload. Activate. All better. 
Oh, that's right. I can't fix the hockey stick because of the, <laughs> the other problem. Of course, we're going to a lab where sound is not really a factor to worry about, so I could, could, could just go in weapons hot. Tempted. Battery power again. I don't remember giving the command to drop that there. Weird. So we've I think mostly cleared this first floor. I noted some things, but um, we didn't go down any further. So we've got a down access to the south here. I also don't remember if there were a bunch of nasties in the area that I was just running around previously. Yeah, I'm currently crouching. <laughs> Just taking a little bit longer to get things done. Isn't that the way you do it? You crouch everywhere so they can't see you. You can be all sneaky. Bash damage on blobs make my brain hurt. Got a couple blob rooms at least. No way south, no way east. North is our direction. Gasoline fuels. So we got a battery power and we got a gas power that we could use for power gen. Now it's down to storage CBMs. Come on, Hacksaw. Where are you at? Whoops. Somebody's really breaking stuff in the old radio room. That's a lot of zombies. Hmm. way to get there from the south. There is a door from the north. We'll leave them in there for now. For three by three. Oops, I didn't bring my pickaxe, did I? Well, I guess this would be a scouting run.
There is a door to the east. That's gonna have to be a barracks or something. Nice, he hit me from long range. Uh-oh. Oh, well, that's not cool. <laughs> that's not e even a little bit cool. All right, I'm gonna have to deal with these zombies before I go up there. Zombies dealt with. Volume rucksack. There you go. That's the one you want, right? <laughs> 65 torso encumbrance when full. 81 total capacity. Also known as a big pack. Rotten meat jerky. Yum. yum. Alright, now that we got that taken care of. New battery. So, oh, smoke, huh? <laughs> Same damn room. And of course, it still goes to the east. It is going to end at a barracks, library, or prisoner containment. But now we've got a zombie brute. Let's back off. Whoops. Not backing off fast enough. Get the gun out. Whoops. Still had the uh, the mask on. Still no hacksaw. <laughs> he actually got me. That's funny. Alright, so there's the end point. There had to be one. They don't string rooms out like this unless there's a, an end point like this. Prisoner containment. Bypass security. No. We're out of here. I got no use for prisoner containment. Stopped on its own. Actually used up a fair amount of the gas mass charge. Oh, where to now? There into the west. Nope, north. Oh, here's my best opportunity right here. Oops. Purifier. Nope. 
Dang it. Oh well. A good old acetylene gas machine. What do we got this time? Barracks. I did leave it behind, right? Yep, yeah, nope, barracks. Don't quite have enough computer skill for me to want to try to hack that. What are we at? Four? Yeah. Not quite high enough yet. We'll come back with the pickaxe to get into there. Lovely. Flooded. This is the doctor's room or section. Shock zombie, hopefully. Oh, the last door's not open yet. Another barracks. We have Shoggoth. Hey there, pretty boy. How you doing? Uh-oh. Korg's back. <laughs> They're being mean to me. They won't let me have a hacksaw. Get tired of looking for one. Oh, I kind of miss having turrets. Just a little tiny bit. Just so easy to run through labs now. Hey, look at there. There it is. Hacksaw, finally. All right. I knew if we were persistent, we'd get one. And an autoclave, which we can also theoretically use. How I'm going to fit an autoclave on my souped-up golf cart, I... <laughs> I can't imagine. Can't imagine how I'm going to put a, an autoclave on a golf cart. So, friendly nurse, unfriendly nurse. Don't have any CBMs yet. Org scored some ramen? Well, hell, man, you're supposed to sell that on eBay for like $10 a box, right? You're, you're going to take advantage of that. Get a little price gouging in. I think that's a hostile bot. Yet another barracks. Hmm. 
Whoa, Billy a soldier zombie. We're gonna get acidified. Oh, now I'm not happy. <laughs> now we're gonna relocate. Black Ops and us, an acid one. Leave the door open. I'm gonna just go straight to the gun. They're distracted by the nurse bot. Redistracted by the nurse bot. <laughs> it's a lot of acid. Really? Just just those two just hanging out here and they broke the switch? Seems a little weird. Surprise there. Actually, a working vending machine. Holy crap, they do exist. This is the finale. This, I think this is the finale. <laughs> we drop down there, and the finale apparently is right there. <laughs> there's no stairs down so far on this, and there's bullets on the ground. This has got to be the finale. Yep, it's the finale room, all right. <laughs> well, that was a short lab. Um, huh. I guess I'm glad there's a few... Uh, there's a few uh, barracks for us to loot, because we're not going to get much else. It's a mutagen-focused finale, so there's not going to be much in this finale room that I care about. Another room off to the side there, but I'd have to deal with the robots, and I don't want to deal with the robots. Actually, is there light in there? A little bit of light somewhere. Where's that light coming from? Oh, well, there's lights. That's where it's coming from. Might not be light in the main corridor over on this side, and I might be able to take some shots. 
Not that it's worth it. Since I'm not doing mutations this run, there's really not any benefit to me risking my life over there. Oh. Light over here, too. <laughs> Three grenades. MREs, combat stuff. I think they're all hanging out to the north there. Possibly I could grenade them all. That'd be interesting. They are all hanging out in that corner. I could also get myself shot and instantly killed. All the noises seem to be coming from that corner though. Couple of them. Activate, grenade, peek, row, aid. <laughs> Naturally. Run. Keep running. So that didn't go so well. I thought I had some throw skill. I got throwing two, and I still only managed to make it two spaces. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Usually throwing two is all you need. Huh. I could, but I... I'm already putting myself in danger for no real good reason. <laughs> so the, the explosion might have just pulled those guys down towards the door here. And I'm pretty deaf at the moment. I can't hear where they're at. Not totally deaf anymore. Ringing ears. Wait a little longer. See if we get the. Uh... All right. So there, we're not deaf. But yeah, you can see where the noises are now. They're all over the spot where the grenade went off. Possibly, I can get them to relocate by tapping the wall up here. Guess better yet, I could fire my gun. Took out the local light. <laughs> well, I could trust the local light sources and the information of the HUD. It'd be different, but I can't trust they won't be able to see me. Activate. Need. Ooh. Need. And watch it lands right in the middle and hits nothing. That'd be hilarious. Once again, two spaces. <laughs> All right, game. We're gonna be we're gonna be deaf again. Wear earplugs. You're deafened anyway. Oh no, I'm deafened because of the earplugs.
Take out earplugs. <laughs> I'm not going to bother anymore. There's not really a point to it. There's not going to be anything in there that I care about. All mutagen and chemistry related stuff. Yeah, you can peek and throw anything you want. You just can't peek and fire guns or bows or anything like that. You can peek and throw, but you cannot peek and fire. You also cannot peek and toss between Z levels. You can't peek downstairs and then leave a grenade. Oh, you should be watching my, my, my series, my quick tip series. I demonstrate all about that kind of stuff. Cataclysm quick tips. But yeah, like I said, I'm risking my life for no gain. There's, there's not going to be anything in there that I care about. If I were doing some kind of a mutation run and I cared what kind of mutagen was in the tank and I needed chemistry stuff from the shelves or mutagens and purifiers or tools, then I would care about this finale. But it's there's not going to be a single thing in there that I care about. So I'm not going to continue wasting grenades and risking my life for no real purpose. So let's go up and get the pickaxe and we'll clear out a few barracks and then we're done. Oh yeah, and the auto dock for the hacksaw. Actually, I think what I'll do instead is we'll, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it a night right here for Cataclysm. We only got a few more minutes for my six hours that I got scheduled for this or do. I don't want to start into uh, breaking into barracks. It'll take me longer and we'll end up putting a break in in a weird spot. So this is a good spot to stop for the night. We had some fun. We had some entertainment. We found some new stuff I hadn't seen before or in a while. Uh... Pretty good fights, so I'm overall pretty happy with what we got accomplished. But um, I'm I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do about the golf cart thing. <laughs> that's gonna be a that's gonna be an ongoing problem. Are there any car dealerships in the daycare? Yeah, there's a car dealership, car showroom. All right, so we got a couple options right there, right next to each other. So, and there's a, a garage right in that area as well and a craft shop that might be a welding craft shop. So I think when we start up next uh, on Monday, that's what we're going to hit. We're going to come up and hit this little section. We'll finish the barracks, so we're done with this lab. We'll go get our hacksaw, the gasoline fuel cell CBM, and then clear the barracks. That won't take long. Once we've got that done, we're, we're done with this lab. We'll roll up north and we'll hit this neighborhood here and hope that the car dealerships have a, uh, a golf cart if we can get a welding rig out of the garage or a craft shop, a metalworking craft shop. If so, then we can back off to somewhere with some raw materials and uh, we'll be able to mod out our, our golf cart and uh, it'll just be the golf club will be the last thing that we're searching for. And uh, yeah, that'll be good. So that's it for me for this evening, folks. Thanks very much for, uh, for watching, for supporting the channel, hanging out. Appreciate it very much. I will uh, be back on Monday with some more Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, continuing this one. And of course, I'll be doing some more Seven Days to Die here uh, tomorrow and Sunday. So, hope to see you then. Have a great evening, and, uh, you know, stay safe out there.